Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 25 problems I have completed on admission, retirement, and death of partner. This is the last and final video on the problems regarding capital accounts, then admission, retirement, death of partners. So if you're watching all the videos at this moment, you may you might have got a good command on the topic of this partnership accounts one. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced accounting new, watch all the videos of partnership, be perfect about the knowledge, be perfect about this topic and have confidence on this topic of partnership accounts. So before starting the 26th, that is the last problem. I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problems ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point. Now, see the 26th problem. Uh, X, Y and Z were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 respectively. Three partners are there. Profit sharing ratio 5 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10. On 31st December 2004, the balance sheet stood as follows. Sundry creditors reserve fund, then capital accounts of X, Y, Z. So whenever a part, new partner is admitted or an old partner retired or on death, the reserve fund should be distributed between all the partners in the profit sharing ratio. So here reserve fund is given 15,000 and this 15,000 will be distributed among all partners in the old ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. Building patents, machinery, stock, debtors, bank. Bank balance it is printed as 32,500 but make it 32,000. So there is a mis uh, misp uh, misprint there. Instead of 32,500, make it 32,000. Total is 2,17,500. Z died on 1st May 2005. It was agreed that. The last balance sheet was prepared on 31st December 2004. And on 1st May, one of the partner, Z, died. So how many months? January, February, March, April. So we have to calculate the profit of these four months. And we have to give the share of profit to the executors of deceased partner. Goodwill to be valued at two, two and a half years purchase of the average profit of the last four years, which were 2001, 32,500, 2002, 30,000, 2003, 40,000, 2004, 37,500. So on the death of a partner, goodwill has to be calculated and we have to find out what is the share of goodwill of the deceased partner. Right? And that share of goodwill of the deceased partner should be adjusted in the capital accounts. Goodwill should not be raised. Only the amount of goodwill due to the deceased partner will be adjusted in capital accounts. Then machinery be valued 70,000. The balance sheet value of machinery was 75,000. That means machinery value has to be reduced by 5,000. Patents at 20,000. The balance sheet patents value was 15,000. That means we have to increase the value of patents. And building 6,200. The balance sheet value of building is 50,500. That means we have to increase, appreciate the value of building. For the purpose of calculating Z's share in the profits of 2005, the profit in 2005 should be taken to have been earned on the same scale as in 2004. So 2004 the profit was 37,500. So we have to take 2005 profit also as 37,500. A sum of 10,500 is paid immediately to the executors of Z and the balance to be paid in four equal half yearly installment together with interest at 10% per annum. Give the necessary journal entries to record the above transaction and Z's executors account for the year 2005. So this is the problem, 26th. First of all, in working note, we calculate the value of goodwill. See, goodwill. Goodwill is equal to average profit into two and a half years of purchase. So average profit means 
we have to find out the average of the last five years. So profits are given 32, 500, 30,000, 40,000, 37, 400, four years, sorry, not five years, four years profit are given. So take the total of four, uh, four years profit, divide by four, you will get 35,000. This is the average profit. Now goodwill is equal to average profit into 2.5. Two and a half means 2.5. So 35,000 into 2.5, 8,700. This 8,700 is the total goodwill of the firm. But we need what is the share of goodwill of the retiring partner. Retiring partner is Z. And his profit sharing ratio is 2 by 10. So this 8,700 into 2 by 10. 17,500. 17,500 is the share of goodwill of Z. Right? Therefore, Z capital should be credited by 17,500. The diseased partner is Z. Z capital account should be credited by 17,500. And the debit should be given to the continuing partners. The continuing partners are X and Y. So X capital account debit, Y capital account debit to Z capital. That is the entry. Now in what ratio? The new ratio. The old ratio was 5 is to 3 is to 2. X5, Y3 and Z2. But Z, uh, Z is eliminated. The remaining profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3. 5 by 8, 3 by 8. So here X and Y should be debited in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So X is equal to 17500 into 5 by 8, 10,938. Similarly 17500 into 3 by 8, 6562. So X capital account debit 10,938. Y capital account debit 6562 to Z's capital 17,500. This is the adjustment of goodwill. Now calculation of profit to the date of death. That means the last balance sheet was prepared on 31st December 2004 and Z died on 1st May 2005. So we need to calculate the profit for four months, January, February, March, April, right? So it is given that profit in 2005 is same as in 2004, that is 3,700. Last year profit was 3,700. It is given in the problem that same profit should be assumed in 2005 also. Now, therefore profit from 1 1st January 2005 to 30th April 2005 is four months. 3,700 into 4 by 12, it comes to 12,500. So 12,500 is the profit for four months of the firm, but we need the share of profit of the diseased partner, that is 2 by 10. So here 12,500 into 2 by 10, it comes to 2,500. Now this 2,500 should be credited in the account of Z, the diseased partner. Now general entries. The first entry is regarding revaluation of mushroom. Machinery value has to be reduced. So entry will be revaluation account debit, machinery account credit, 5,000. Being the value of machinery reduced. Now patent and building has to be appreciated, increase. So entry will be patent account debit, machinery account debit to revaluation. So patent account is increased by 5,000, building value is increased by 12,000, total 70. Being the value of patent and building appreciated. Now, profit or loss on revaluation. Here, revaluation account is credited by 17,000. Here, revaluation account is debited by 5,000. So, credit side is more. That means there is a profit on revaluation. So, 17,000 minus 5,000. 12,000 is the profit on revaluation. The entry will be revaluation account debit 12,000. To X capital to Y capital to Z capital in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. So 12,000 into 5 by 10, 6,000. 12,000 into 3 by 10, 3,600. 12,000 into 2 by 10, 2,400. Being the profit on revaluation shared by all the partners. Now reserve fund. At the time of death in the balance sheet, liability side, there is reserve fund for 15,000. And this reserve fund should be distributed among all the partners. The reserve fund account debit to X capital to Y capital to Z capital in the old profit sharing ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. This being the reserve fund shared by all the partners. Now 
adjustment for goodwill. Just now I told you. For giving the share of goodwill of the deceased partner, Z capital account should be created by 17,500. And X capital, Y capital should be debited by 10,938 and 6,562. So X capital account debit 10,938, Y capital account debit 6,562 to Z capital 17,500. Being the share of goodwill of Z credited to Z's capital account. Then profit and loss adjustment account debit to Z's capital account. Share of profit. The share of profit for this four months is 2,500. So entry profit and loss adjustment account debit to Z's capital. Being the share of profit of this firm. Then Z's executor's account debit to bank. In the problem it is given that 10,500 cash is paid to the executors of Z. Right? So immediately 10,500 are paid. So Z uh, executors debit bank account credit. Last one. The remaining balance will be transferred to Z's capital account after making all the adjustments. Now we'll make the partner's capital account. Three columns on debit side, three columns on credit side. X, Y, Z. By balance brought down, the balance which is given in the balance sheet. X 75,000, Y 6,200, Z 37,500. Then we post all these entries. The first entry revaluation profit. Here you can see revaluation profit 6000, 3600, 2400. 6000, 3600, 2400. Next the reserve fund. Reserve fund 7500, 4500, 3000. So 7500, 4500, 3000. Next one is goodwill. So X capital account debit, Y capital account debit, Z capital account credit. So credit side X capital 10,938 Y capital 6562 and debit side to Z capital X 10,938 and Y 6562. This entry is posted. Now profit and loss adjustment account debit to Z's capital. So Z's capital credit side Y profit and loss adjustment account. Right? Or now we have to find out the balance in Z capital account. So take the total on the credit side, it comes to 62,900. 62,900. This 62,900 first of all should be transferred to executors. So Z's executors account balancing figure 62,500. The total amount due 62,500. Being the amount due to the executors of Z. Now we find out the balance carried down, brought down for X partner and Y partner. So X partner total 88,500. 8800 minus 10938 77562. This is the capital of X after making all adjustment. And this capital will appear in the balance sheet. Similarly, Y. The total is 70,600. From 7600 minus 6562, 64038. This is the balance carried on, brought on for Y. That's all. Capital account is completed. Now, balance sheet. See the old balance sheet and we can make the new one. Sundry credits 27500, no change at all. We have not made any change for Sundry credits 27500. Then second one is reserve fund. Reserve fund will not come because already distributed among the partners. But one new liability will come. Z's executor's account. Z's executor's account. Executor of Z. Actually total amount due 62900. But out of 6,200, 10,500 are paid in cash immediately. So 6,200 minus 10,500, 52,400. This is the amount payable to executors of Z. Then capital account of X and Y, 77,562 and 64,038. Liability side over. Now come to asset side. Building. Building the old value was 50,500. There is appreciation of building by 12,000. So 50,500 50, plus 12,000, 6,200. Patent is increased. Earlier patent was 15,000. Here patent was increased by 5,000. So 15 plus 5, 20,000. Machinery. Machinery old value was 75,000. But machinery value have been decreased by 5,000. Reduced. So minus 5,000, 70,000. Stock no change. 
25,000. Whatever given the balance sheet, same. Debtors, no change, 20,000. But cashier bank, cashier bank was 32,000 given in the balance sheet. From that, 10,500 are paid to the executors of Z. So minus 10,500. 32,000 minus 10,500, 21,500 is the cash at bank. Lastly, profit and loss adjustment we have debited here. Profit and loss adjustment account debit. This time being, we will take it on the asset side as a fictitious asset, imaginary asset. Because we calculate profit at the end of the year. Right now, we are not at the end of the year. We are making adjustment on the depth of Z. So time being, we keep it as a debit balance. So that's why we have to show it on the asset side as a fictitious asset. Then the total of the balance sheet is 2,21,500. This is the end of problem number 26. So totally 26 main problems and a number of short problems we have done on this partnership accounts one. So the next topic will be partnership accounts two. There we are going to study about uh, the dissolution of partnership firm and also sale of a partnership business to a company. That will be discussed in the next topic partnership accounts too. So apart from this advanced accounting, I have uploaded so many videos on different topics for BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA and also for professional examination like CA, CMA, uh, CS etc. So visit the playlist of my channel, select the subject, well, watch the complete video, be perfect about the, have confidence on the subject, on the topics. So inshallah, we'll continue our lectures on the next topic that is partnership accounts too in the next video.